Hello and welcome back to Salesforce Hulk. As you have seen in earlier video, we have created a UI using SLDS and component library. Now in this video, we will see how to render a list using for each loop. So let's understand what exactly the for each loop is. For each loop is a statement or a directive that is used to render a list of items and to perform some actions onto those items. Now let's understand the same with the help of an example. So we'll be creating a component. So this will be our component. And in this component, what we need to show, we need to show the different cards of records. And you need to make sure that in one particular row, there should be three cards only. And if there will be any fourth one, then it should be starting with the new row. So this will be the different different cards. Let's suppose this is a card for record A, record B, C, D, E, and F. So this was the uh, this is the UI. This uh, what we want to put inside the component, and all these records will be coming from a particular list. Okay, that will be in the JS form, and it will be A, B, C, D, E, and F. So what we need to do that if there if if the records in this list are three, then only three cards will be there. If the records in this particular list are five or six, then that much kind of cards will be there inside this component. Now to implement this scenario, let's jump to the VS code. So in this VS code, we need to go to this again to this LWC and here we'll be creating a lightning web component. Okay, so uh, component for list okay i'll just give the name for this and this is the component that we have created now for this component i told you three things uh, that in a particular uh, row there should be only three components so for that what we will be using we will be using slds as you know already that in slds we will be going for grid and we'll go to this part so we'll just scroll it down and here we'll show the code so as you know we'll just copy this one we'll paste it here so that this will be the grid and uh, we need that all these things will be in the like three columns should be there in the one particular row so three of twelve so this we will be putting here okay now so grid will be uh, the whole uh, row will be one and the components or the columns can be different different so this will be there now inside this particular one component we need to put the card that will be having all the details of that record so for that what we will be doing we will be just going to uh, component library of salesforce and we will be clicking on to that we'll be uh, taking the card structure now same card structure you will be getting in the slds as well and in component library as well but uh, like uh, it will be like the lines of code will be uh, lesser compared to the slds so i'll be going for this component library so i'll just copy this right now and paste it so i am having all the card details like title will be hello and all these things but from here i'll just remove the footer we do not want footer and we do not want this new button as well so i'll just remove all these things now now what we need to do we need to show the details of the particular records that will be there in the list format okay so all the records will be there in list format and that will be available in the js side just remember whatever records you'll be fetching in future with apex all the records will be there in js file not directly in the html file so that's why what i'll do i'll just take a particular uh, variable or the property that is list of records okay and that will be there and in this we'll be putting a list of records let's say uh, first i am just giving the name of the records or oh, nothing much right so first will be uh, rohan it will be in the string format so rohan Sohan, Mohan, and Roshan. Okay, so these are the particular records. You can uh, have that. These are the names of the records that we are having. Now, these same records we need to show onto the UI. 
okay so for that what we need to do uh, you need to go to the html template now again and again which part you need to iterate you need to trade this whole column because for one record it will be one column for another record it will be another column so you need to trade this whole column just remember that you will not be putting the loop onto this row or the grid you need to put the loop onto this column okay so how we will be putting that so whenever you will be using a particular loop you will be using the template tag for that and in this it will be for each and I'll, I'll just explain you the syntax and for index okay so you'll close this template tag and now after that template tag will be closed uh, let me after this div because this div will be what having all these things right now i know that there is a red lines that are coming i'll tell you why it is coming so whenever you will be using a for each loop onto the above dev like onto the uh, just child dev you need to put the key and key should be unique okay key should be unique so how you will be having the unique key let's see so in this for each you need to give the name of this particular variable okay so what is the name of this variable list of records so how you'll be giving that you'll just remove this uh, double quotes and you need to start with curly braces and you need to write the name of the variable that is list of records now in this list of records all the particular records will be there and as you have seen in for each loop one by one the record will be uh, transferred to another variable so for index you will be giving the name or uh, not index it will be item for item like each item will be there inside this particular uh, loop okay so you need to give the name of that particular variable let's say uh, i'll be writing rec okay now in this key you need to give the value of that particular thing either it can be the record id if you have the record id but right now we are only having the names so what you will be doing you will be putting the curly braces and automatically you will be putting rec so it will be the unique because right now we are having all the unique names only and in title what you will be giving rec okay so this is how you will be taking the list into this html template with for each and in uh, one by one all the things will be stored in this rec like first let's uh, let's uh, run it uh, manually that whenever this loop will be running on this particular list first record will be what rohan so rohan will be stored in rec and all wherever we are using rec all on all the places rohan will be visible okay so what we'll do we'll save this thing and then we'll just make it true here we'll be putting targets target and it will be lightning home page and target and we'll close with targets okay after that we'll just deploy this uh, source to org as we have done earlier as well okay so we have done this thing now we'll just switch to our salesforce org and here we need to go to our sales app okay so we'll be going to this sales app and in this home already we are having one component so we'll edit this page now as you can see there is an already component so i'll delete this already component and we are having a component component for list so i'll just drag and drop it here and i'll save it there okay and we'll just go to this so you can see that uh, we are having the different different components rohan sohan mohan and roshan okay so as you can see we are having these four records rohan sohan mohan and roshan so let's see uh, are we having the same records in the list rohan sohan mohan and roshan now but what was our requirement our requirement was that there should be three columns inside one row okay but uh, here uh, the columns are coming four inside one row so what you need to do you need to go to this particular template we have used three 
instead of that you will be using 4 basically uh, the space will be taken by 4 and 4 into 3 will be 12 so again if we will be deploying this into the org and we'll just refresh it now you can see that in one row there are three uh, particular cards rohan sohan and mohan and another card that was roshan it is coming into the next row right so like this you will be able to create a different different list of records or you can render the list of records using this for each loop now what is the benefit of it that we have written this card uh, the line of code for card only once but using this for each loop it is creating repetitively according to the values which are there in this list so i hope now you got the clear understanding of how to use for each loop in lwc and i hope you enjoyed this video if yes hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and comment below on which topic you want our next video